Anyway, sorry, I was just getting messages from, from Mayor. Um, anyway, what was I saying? By messaging me while I'm streaming. Don't they know? Don't they know? Okay, this size is about, is about good. <clears throat> um, so here's one of the things I always leave. Yeah. <laughs> They know I'm streaming. It was Meredith. His guitar. It's a disappoint. I got a disappointing message uh, about a guitar. I don't want to talk about it right now, um, but I'll tell you. Uh, I I did a short scale Freya, and I thought it would be interesting to do because we got a commission to do a short scale uh, guitar. And so I made myself a short scale and then we made another short scale Freya and this guy bought it, but then he just brought it back and he's like, it's too small. So it's kind of like, it's not for everyone. There's kind of a reason why the scale lengths are the way they are, you know, like you can do shorter. I don't mind the shorter scale lengths, but if you're used to like a 25 and a half inch scale length and you switch to a 24 inch, it does take some getting used to, and especially if you have really big hands and you get, uh, you start going up um, the, the, the fret board a little bit. The frets can get closer together. If you have, I don't have that problem. I don't have giant sausage fingers, but if you had like bigger fingers and stuff, it would make uh, fretting uh, a little bit difficult. So it's the short scales aren't for everyone. And uh, there's a reason when you do niche stuff like that, it's it's again, it's one of those things where it can um, it can alienate a potential buyer as much as it can intrigue another. You know what I mean? So it's kind of like when you do that, you limit the scope. Uh, but you also want to kind of add some interesting features and try things like it was it was worth trying um, I don't know if I'm I'm going to do another 24 inch uh, Scale guitar Unless I'm commissioned to do it at this point. I don't think I would do it again on spec It's just too niche um, So I still have to take a millimeter off the back here. Not that that's bad. Like sometimes that's good uh, in that people commission guitars because they want something that they can't get uh, anywhere else, which is fine. Like I don't mind that. And it's like if they want, you know, a weird, like whether it's a, a short scale or a baritone, um, you know you can have that same problem with somebody like getting a baritone guitar with a longer like a 30 inch scale length and being like oh I can't really play this you know they might like the idea but the reality is is something else oh there it is I need my Shinto Rasp but anyway, that's too bad. I thought we were winning. I thought we were winning, and then it turns out we're not winning today. That's okay. So many factors. So many factors. I don't like to obsess about it too much. Like, oh, what's what's the right thing to do here? What's the wrong thing to do here? That guitar that the guy just returned was one of my favorite Freya's uh, that I worked on. It was, 
It had a purple heart fingerboard with a that kind of peachy pink body and and the purple and the pink just worked really well together color wise i was really happy with it and it looked really cute but it was small but that was kind of what made it cute you know But it was interesting. I had a bunch of guys coming through the shop last night and, and I had them just try guitars 